call for a pickup truck that is stuck in the mud up on the Gooseberry Mesa Road, and we are gonna head up there and see if we can get them out. We got Rudy with us today with the weather. It's kind of, feels like 45 degrees outside, maybe a little warmer, but uh, it's like 8 a.m. Oh, look, it says 79 on that sign. 49. 49, whatever. That's early. <laughs> 79. I, listen, I went on a recovery last night, and I went on a recovery this morning, and I need my sleep. <laughs> so this isn't working out. Hefe's swinging the camera today. It's going to be muddy. It's probably going to be muddy. This is not the first time we've pulled somebody out of this mud hole. How you doing? I'm doing great. Oh, got great. you in a little muddle, huh? Yeah, I almost made it through. I got to like right here. So you made it all the way up to right there. I almost made it right here, and then I got stuck right there. And I tried to rock it back and forth, and it just didn't work. I think I dug myself deeper. Shouldn't we back up? Because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back out that way. Well, Are you heading back out to the road? Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave my truck over there, and I'm still gonna try to go for a bike ride. They'll make sure you get out. Okay. Well, you're not the first one we pulled out of this hole. Right here? Yeah. All right, let's see if Rudy can get in without getting wet. Can you get in without getting wet? I got wet? it from this side. I got it. Yeah, Rudy unhooked that and then just drive it around. Too easy, right? Did you even need to put it in four wheels? No, I didn't. Yeah, I was a little so shocked. I'm like, come on, this thing should be able to do this. <laughs> Two wheel drive trucks. No way. So we got there and got him pulled out. That wasn't the first time we pulled somebody out of that hole. But uh, sent him on his way and it's going to be a good day. So we got a call for a razor that is stuck. I think it's got a broken tie rod up in the dunes, in the hurricane dunes. So we're going to head up there and see if we can get it. We got a full, man, a full load today. Look at all that. This should have been called the sardine can. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a little bit cloudy, but the sun's out, and it's about 65 degrees. Uh, nice and warm, don't need a coat. Matt, don't tell me where it's at, so I, I'm afraid I'd get lost. So we'll get them done. This makes me look really small. Oh, yeah, look at little Rudy. We 
are gonna see how far we can drive into the dunes in two-wheel drive pulling the trailer and way way overloaded that's right comment below how far you think we're gonna make it into the dunes <laughs> what are they gonna say you're gonna make some of the way into the dunes halfway <laughs> far away the two-wheel drive challenge but I'm gonna lock up right now where did we make it to exactly we made it to the bathrooms it wasn't a very fun game we played but a game nonetheless you want to go for a run huh How's it going? Alright, you go around. First time, so, first which, time we've had you tow the KM, I think. Yeah? <laughs> What's up, guys? She, uh, she's cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we just need that one to move. We'll pull it on backwards. Okay. I'm Brad, man. So, meet you. Dickie's Barbecue Pit and Coral Sand Adventures. You guys saved us the other day when our one of our machines broke. So I said I was going to feed you. Thank you. <laughs> Holy smokes. It's an AR. It's an AR yeah. Thing I have around Both of them. So what's the plan? We're going to back up to that and load it up. That's not an exciting plan. I know. Should I do it with gusto? Yes. Oh. Much gusto. We're going to do it with much gusto. Got a start of a, I mean, that's the factory bend right there for clearance, so it's kind of a weak spot just inherently there. Yeah, it is. All right, that's on there. We got to get on top of that dune. And we're going to be doing it along the long way. I you want me to run up the dunes? I could take a nap in yes. the dunes. Yes. Okay run up the dunes. That. Run up the dunes. Nah. You don't have to run. Where are you taking this lady? We need water. Lady. Water. Rudy needs Strumu. Well, I'm fine. They ruined the illusion. Come on, Rudy. Load up. The best way to do this is to start pushing gently. 
about the heaviest load you're gonna have for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're rubbing the oh, right my nose. rubbing the fenders. Tell the camera how you feel. Like nauseous. Max has a bowel problem. Dynavite. D I N O V I T E. Dynavite. Right here is fine. Yep. We'll have to deal with it right there, and we have to leave the other one out. Then that's fine. I'd love to turn that way. Guys, that's it. Both. Easy. about to fall off from it. It's got yeah. suspension on that side. I don't care about the rear end. There you go. Beautiful. I'd say call it there good right there. So that was probably the heaviest load out of the dunes I've ever done. But uh, the sand had some moisture in it, so that worked out good for us. We were able to get out. What do you got to say about it, Ed? Yeah, that was a uh, pretty good trip. Lucky the sand was wet, and we made it out there, two-wheel drive, and then locked them in and pulled them out, and we broke the whole front wheel off. And it's still a nice day, and thanks for watching.